G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and this here could be one of the rarest fruit trees in the world. This is a citrus tree and I have never ever seen a fruit such as this in my life. I've looked online and I can't find a trace of it anywhere. What I do know is that it is a citron, but what type of citron I don't know that, but I have got a good story about it. And so I'm going to share that story with you and I'm going to taste the fruit for the first time ever live for you guys. Let's get into it. So before I pick the fruit off and cut it with my steak knife, uh, it's the only thing I could grab out of the kitchen in a hurry because the sun's going down and I wanted to get this video out. Anyway, we'll have a bit of a chat about the background of this tree. I got an email a few years ago from Doug and said, hey Mark, if you want a citron, I can give you one. I have quite a few growing. I've grown them from seed. They are from our old family farm near Gympie. Now Gympie is a little town about three hours north of us up the coast. He said in his email to me, when I was a kid, our neighbor would make marmalade from the fruit. And now my sister, who now owns the farm, is doing so too. Then he goes on to say how he thought the tree had died. But anyway, his sister was out watering some mango trees. And a few weeks later, this citron popped up so it must have had seed already in the ground or something like that and so of course they let it grow and consequently turned into the same old fruit that they used to have years ago but where did that tree come from well when Doug came and dropped off this tree to me it just was a seedling only about a foot high in a small pot he said that they think it came from somewhere around Gympie on the Mary River so the Mary River runs around or through Gympie correct me if I'm wrong and apparently this type of citron grows freely and wild around that area and the locals know of it so if you are a local and you've seen this fruit before let me know about it in the comment section and give me any hints and tips or ways of using it because I'd be very interested to know more about the story of this fruit. So anyway, Doug got a few seeds and he was watching one of my videos online with his missus. They saw that, that how much I love fruit trees and particularly citrus. And he, yeah, he just asked me if I had a citron. He just said, listen, I can bring you out a seedling and I said no I hadn't I had never grown one and I actually then started looking up online and they're not the easiest trees to get hold of they're often sold out online so I planted it it grew surprisingly fast it's a beautiful looking tree I didn't give it much care I haven't given it any fertilizer I will now that it's fruiting I sort of forgot about it and then kind of overnight you know it flowered and then the fruit started growing it was green for a long time I mean that fruit has been slowly turning yellow I reckon for about three four months it's been the slowest citrus ripening that I've ever had but apart from a little bit of leaf miner here and there the tree's growing really well and it's extra hardy now I've done a bit of research on citron and I understand that there's not usually very much flesh in the fruit it's got a thick skin and a lot of pith and then very little fruit in the middle or pulp in the middle and apparently you could get a lot of seed with that as well so I'm prepared to cut this on and not find anything extra special on the inside at the moment it's got about six fruit ripening and the most ripest with the one that I'm going to pick is the furthest one up the tree about halfway Anyway, I've got a few other lemons that I want to compare it to. So I'll cut it off now. We'll do a bit of a comparison and then we'll slice it open, have a taste test and we'll see how we go. Well, it's heavy. <laughs> it's like a brick. It is big and you know what else? It's really hard. I hope I haven't picked it too soon, but it is, oh, it is solid as. Can you see that thing? 
the shape of it, it's like a pear. Goodness gracious, I've never seen a citron, well, I've never grown a citron before, but I've never seen a citrus like this. I wish I, there's no way you could crush this thing. Not like a lemon or, a, or an orange. So let's compare it to a few others. This here would be the closest thing that I'm growing to this. This is a bush lemon. See, it's knobbly in that. It's got a lot of seeds. It's very tart. It's very sour, very sour. I really like them. Squeeze over a bit of fish or in salad. I love the sourness. Uh, they're a really good lemon and I believe they're true to type as well. So, which means you can grow them from seed and they'll grow into the same plant just like this. But look at the size difference. Bush lemon, citron. Here is a yuzu. Now this one's a little bit old, but it's a Japanese yuzu. Look at the size difference. I haven't had a lot of experience with these. I've got two trees and they're just starting to fruit a little bit more now. And I'll be soon trying to make that famous Japanese vinegar out of it. But yeah, big difference in, in, in size. And here is a Maya lemon. Now this is one of the bigger lemons that you can get. They can get bigger than this and I've had them bigger than this, but this is still a large lemon. I've got big hands. You can see how big it is. It smells beautiful. Oh, so does this too. And, but look at the size difference. This is massive compared to the Maya lemon. A few cockatoos flying around today. Probably seeing me pick this and wondering, Ark, what's that, Mark? All right, moment of truth. Let's cut him on and just see what's inside. I don't want to cut all the way around this to open it up this way without cutting my hand off. Oh, it's very, can you get that? It's, it's very juicy, the, the flesh. I'm, I'm making, I'm really butchering this, I'll tell you. Because I don't want to cut my fingers off on camera. That wouldn't be a very good taste test. That'd be a trip to the hospital, probably. Here we go. Not the best cut, but hopefully I've cut through enough of the skin and pith to show what's inside of it. And like we thought, a lot of pith, not a lot of fruit on the inside. Not a lot of seed either. You know what it reminds me of? Grapefruit. It reminds me of a grapefruit, just the looking at the flesh. So, let me put that one down and let's cut out a bit of the flesh here. It's so juicy. Mm. I don't want the pith because I don't want to spoil the, I don't want it bitter. I want to taste the flesh on its own. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Mmm. It's a lemon. It tastes like a lemon. A really refreshing, lovely lemon. It's not too sour. It's not, it doesn't have that aftertaste like a grapefruit either. Like, you know, one of those sour grapefruits. It's really nice. I'm not just saying that. I expected it to be pretty poor and I was prepared for that. And I was going to give some excuses as how you can improve it and you make it into a marmalade or whatever, add sugar, that type of thing. But you know what? This is really gourmet. I'm just going to, I'm going to have a taste of the skin. We'll have a look and see how many seeds in it soon too. Let me just shave a bit of skin off. You can, you can see, see how 
oh, it's just so much juice in it. Okay, there's the skin. Mm. Yeah, that's that's pretty harsh. It's not terrible. It's comparable to a to a lemon, but it's nice. That'd be good. I mean, you don't eat it like that, but I can imagine chopped up fine, sprinkled in a salad, or used as any way you would do chopped up lemon skin. The zest, you know, in drinks or whatever. I think it'd be fantastic and there's plenty of good zest to get off this so that's another good use for it but let's just dig a bit deeper in here and have a look at some of the seeds there we go it's not focusing on me here we go there not a heck of a lot of seeds but there's like a core of seeds I'm pleasantly surprised. I think it's fabulous. Like there's not a lot of flesh in this, so you'd need quite a few to make a marmalade or something like that. But if you're gonna use it gourmet-like in cooking, the zest, there's plenty of zest. So that'd be a good thing. Of course, make a marmalade if you get enough of them. But the other thing you can do is use the seeds. And I was talking about this in the comments section of my last video, when I showed you the rootstock that had started to fruit finally after 12 years well the rootstock which we established to be an orange that discussion underneath that video was really good so thanks a lot for that a lot of people mentioned that you could use the, the fruit was terrible but you could use those seeds to grow more citrus trees and then graft onto them because it makes great rootstock of course and i think you could do a similar thing with this you could use the seeds as a rootstock as well. So not only is this very nice tasting, surprisingly, disappointingly, you've got a lot of pith, but that's not uncommon for a citron. But you can use whatever pulp we've got in here to make food with. Marmalade is one thing that comes to mind, but there are others. Black them down in the comments section if, if you can think of any, but yeah use the zest, uh, preserve the skin as well, the Moroccan way, or use the seeds to grow more, of course, or use it as a rootstock. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, if you've got any other suggestions, let me know in the comments section. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big curvy citron thumbs up and share the video around because it helps my channel out heaps. Subscribe if you haven't already, and my mouth is still salivating from <laughs> eating this. I tell you what, it really is good. I'm not just saying that. Thanks a lot also, Doug, I should have said that, and your wife, forget her name, but thank you very much for bringing me out this plant so that I can make this video and show people. Uh, if you've seen this type of shaped fruit before any of you again, let me know. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. Cheers. Wrapped.